Which is better, cloud hosting or VPS hosting? Well, in this video, I am going to be comparing the two cloud VPS hosting and VPS hosting. So go ahead and stick around and I'm gonna compare those all, but remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if at any point in this video, you do believe that this content has proven helpful to you and you wanna see more from me. I will also leave a link in the description to some of my favorite hosts from both of these categories so you can check them out at a special discount if you would like to do so. But now let me go ahead and explain the difference between cloud hosting and VPS hosting or cloud VPS hosting specifically and which you should pick. Now the major difference between cloud VPS hosting and VPS hosting is that VPS hosting is a singular server, whereas cloud VPS hosting is a mesh network of instances of your website. And if that sounds like a bunch of word vomit, well, let me try and break it down for you and make it a bit easier to understand. First of all, we have VPS hosting. Now VPS or virtual private server hosting all it basically is, is just an emulated server which you have on a physical server. What this means is that you've got a digital or emulated server and you can customize that server basically how you would want, but without having to pay the extra amount you would have to for a whole physical server. Now, VPS hosting is very, very good and I do recommend it to a lot of my clients. However, the next up we have cloud VPS hosting. Now cloud hosting is basically where the hosting provider will take a mesh network of different instances of your site. So when one of those instances goes down or crashes, your site will still remain up. It can also provide better latency to your customers because they can pull your site from the closest instance or the closest server to them. Now the difference between these two hosting providers is in a few instances. For one, a cloud VPS host might not be as good if you're hosting a website that updates real time because it is constantly having to push these updates to all of these different hosting servers. And when you're having to do that, it won't be as easy because those updates will take delays. So if you're constantly having to update your website, like if it's a news website or something, you might not want to go with a cloud VPS host. However, that does go into the benefits of cloud VPS hosting, which is the reliability and uptime. So if you've got a software as a service tool or something that you want up and you want people to be able to access all the time and at a very low latency, then having that cloud VPS host can make or break your site for you. Now there is usually a slight price difference. Admittedly, I found that cloud VPS hosts do tend to be more expensive than normal VPS hosts or traditional VPS hosts just because of the fact that you will be having an instance on multiple servers. However, the price difference is actually pretty reasonable most of the time, so you can go with whichever one you think is going to be better for you. That is going to do it for this video though, so I will leave a link just as a reminder in the description below to some VPS and cloud VPS hosts that I recommend. So you can check them out no matter which one you decide to go with at a special discount. But that is going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.